Hello everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Tech Coordinator team. In the last video, I showed you how to do some basic editing in GarageBand on the iPad. Now I'm going to show you how to add a second recording track. So why would you even need to do this? Well, a second recording track or a second audio track is going to let you do some interesting things with your end product. It may allow you to have multiple partners in a group working on a project together in different speaking roles and allow you to have group member A on one track and group member B on another track and so on as you have more students in the group. It may also let you do things like add background music. But in this one, I'm just going to show you how to add a second audio recording track or speaker to that. So how do we even get a second track there? Well, there's a number of ways to do it. The easiest being to come down here to the plus button and hit audio recorder. So once I'm in audio recorder mode, I've actually added a second track that just has nothing on it at this point. How do I know that? I'm gonna go ahead and click on my timeline mode and you'll see I now have two microphones. All right, and I'm working on the second track right now. I can tell because it's highlighted. You'll also notice that I've moved my playhead to the very beginning so that I can actually hear the audio that's spoken before I begin recording my audio. Now it's gonna be a little hard for you to hear the playback of this just because of the way this, this is set up for the recording uh, screencast that I'm doing for you, but I'm gonna hop back over and you'll be able to tell when I'm not speaking, you don't hear me speaking right now, but the needle is moving, that the background audio is actually kicking in and being picked up. And then from there, you'll hear me speak. So how do we begin recording that second track? Same way we did the first track. Right up here on the red button, I'm gonna be quiet for just a moment and then I will record mine in just a second. And so now I'm gonna do just a brief recording of how to do a single track recording in GarageBand. You'll be able to do both single track and multiple track recording in GarageBand. But we're going to start with the most basic one, which is single track recording. All right, so there it is. You didn't see much of a movement, but it does cue me to know that uh, when my part kicks in for the second audio recording. So let's see what that looks like. Well, great. Now you can see that this is where I picked up. I did have a slight delay between when I ended here and when I started here. So we're going to go back and do some basic editing, just like we did in the previous video. I'm going to get my playhead out and put in the right position. I'm going to double tap. I am going to split that track. If I do it properly. Now I'm going to select just the one that I want to delete, double tap, delete it. Slide my other one into place. I'm going to clean it up on the ends just as here, here. I now can get rid of this track. And I now have a properly created multi-track editing, which if I were to put my playhead back in the right spot, you may have a hard time hearing this from where you're at, but from where I'm at, they're going to pick up very nicely one from another. All right, now the great part about that is we don't have to get our reading or our speaking pieces right the first time, but we can make them sound great in our final product doing this kind of multi-track editing. It's easy for kids to learn. It's something that can be very valuable as they reflect on the speaking that they're doing. It can give them multiple attempts at getting it right, and it really does help you to uh, get them in the mindset of editing and, and creating a great final product, even though the process of creating is, is largely where they do most of their learning. So that's how we create a simple multi-track audio recording using the GarageBand app on the iPad.